Hi, I'm Andrew Dash for Audioholics. Most people who are into home theater and speakers will have heard of B&W. The company is known for its high performance speakers and they have a reputation for quality products. Recently, they've demonstrated a knack for making smaller speakers that sound bigger than they are. For example, we reviewed their MM1 multimedia speakers and found them to be absolutely astounding. I mean, they're this big. And now they've taken that same approach with their new M1 mini theater speakers. Now this is their MT50 system, which we reviewed, and it includes five M1 2E speakers and an ASW608 8-inch subwoofer. Now, what is this system? Well, it's two products, the very versatile M1 speakers and then, of course, the ASW608 sub. The M1 speakers have a 1-inch metal dome tweeter and a 4-inch mid-range woofer that's made of woven fiberglass. They can handle amplifier power up to 100 watts, so they're just going to work with about any AV receiver that you throw at it. And when we said that they were versatile, we really did mean it. Each speaker can be tabletop mounted or wall mounted, and the base actually has a rubber plate, uh, for lack of a better word, that comes off exposing uh, the included Torx wrench, it's in every one, and push spring type binding posts. Now these terminals are placed in a way that allows you to actually run bare wire into the base of the speaker without showing any connectors on the outside. It, it's nothing short of brilliant and I really hope they didn't patent it because I'd like to see uh, other manufacturers uh, take on this thing as well. It's, it's really cool. Now the reason they included a Torx wrench is so that you can remove the base and reorient the speaker for use as a center channel like this one or attach it to the included wall mount. Now B&W is clearly in the design business and they literally thought of everything with these speakers. Now the ASW608 subwoofer. It's a sealed design with an 8-inch paper Kevlar long throw woofer. Now there are a billion controls and connections on the back of the sub. Oh, okay, there's, there's not a billion, but, but, but there are both line level and speaker level inputs. And controls include volume for both the line and speaker inputs, a defeatable low pass crossover frequency dial, and a phase switch. Now if that were all, then of course we'd be exaggerating our description of how much configurability there was. However, that's not all. The ASW608 sub also gives you a base extension switch that limits the lower frequency response of the subwoofer in situations where you may uh, have a larger room or you want to, the sub uh, volume levels uh, not to run so high that it would cause distortion in the maximum extension mode. Now that means you'll have less extension but more output and it's a great option. Now there's also an EQ switch that lets you apply an auto EQ curve for normal sub placement and also a setting for less resonant rooms or uh, non-corner placement. The sub also has a 12 volt trigger for those who want to make sure the sub only comes on when their system is powered up. Now fitting all this technology into a 10 by 10 by 13 box is more than a little impressive. Of course, as always, it was the sound that impressed us. The B&W MT50 system sounds a lot bigger than it is. While playing back movies like How to Train Your Dragon, Inception, or Men in Black, it really showed off that great imaging and the excellent bass response of the sub. It was music, however, that really got our attention. The M1 speakers, of course, when coupled with the sub, produced a rich, smooth sound that had excellent min-rage and clear highs. But that wasn't our initial experience. It had to uh, have some tweaks in order to get there. Now, you'll want to experiment with the setting of your crossover and set it around 100 hertz or so to make sure that uh, you send enough of the required frequencies to the subwoofer where they're going to get better treatment than through the M1s. Now, though the specs claim a 3 dB point at 64 hertz, we didn't get the best results from the 80 hertz crossover. Uh, the mid bass was a tad lacking. Now, once dialed in, however, the system came alive, and we think it's going to be a combination of taste and, of course, your room acoustics that determine where you set the crossover in your particular application. The system runs somewhere around $1,700, but expect that price to vary by dealer. The bottom line is that the MT50 system crushes your average home theater in a box speakers. This is a real system that, while not cheap, will give you a great looking set of speakers that sound as good as they look. Now listen, we think that we got a question for you, not even what we think, we know we have a question. It, uh, do that again, here we go. Now listen, we got a question for you this week. Do you think it's possible to get full rich sound out of a small speaker system? Visit our YouTube page and leave a comment letting us know what you think. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Well, you know, we think they're great. Also, like us on Facebook.com slash Audioholics and follow us on Twitter at Audioholics Live.